Okay, so last time we left off with the uh, hero's journey, and we were at the belly of the whale. So, next is Road of Trials, which is typically the action scenes in the movie leading up to the fight with the actual bad guy. Um, the Road of Trials can get kind of crazy with uh, stories if you're uh, familiar with writing and or screenwriting. You might know the uh, save the cat method. This would be kind of where the um, kind of where the fun and games is at. There, there's a lot of different ways that the uh, road of trials can happen. Typically in mythology, a good example of this is uh, Perseus when he's on his way to go kill Medusa, and uh, Athena and Hermes tell him that he has to do some other stuff first. Sometimes you'll have to go get uh, more talismans or amulets or magical relics or swords or, you know, whatever it is that you need. Um, after that is meeting with the goddess. Um, a lot of times in mythology there will be a god or a goddess or a character that is associated with heroes. In Greece, a lot of times it's... Um, Athena, uh, the goddess will come and help um, the hero uh, on his next step. Uh, temptation is next. Uh, temptation is usually uh, kind of, the stage is usually embodied by the uh, succubus, um, siren, harpy type character. Um, And so, a lot of times, the uh, hero will be kind of taken out by those before he even gets to the bad guy. So, um, or that's, at least that's the idea. So, after that is facing the dragon, or the, it's the final showdown. And that is, uh, or also it's called the ordeal. After that is the boon. A lot of times the boon will be a virgin or a maiden or a uh, princess kind of character. And a lot of times that is, I think, kind of symbolic of um, throughout history, the male's kind of rite of passage. You would get your wife after um, you went through your initiation, which is kind of what the hero's journey is, is an initiation. So... Um, after that is the, uh, oh, also in real life, the, um, the boon a lot of times will be a lesson that you have to learn in that chapter of your life. And so it's really important to, um, remember those boons that you get, um, in your real life adventures and pay attention to those because they will help you a lot in your next adventures. Now, um... After the boon is uh, Magic Flight, again in the story of Perseus, uh, after Perseus defeats Medusa, um, Pegasus uh, kind of erupts from Medusa's neck and Perseus rides Pegasus home. So in that story it's Pegasus. Now that typically won't apply in real life getting Magic Flight back home, but um, symbolically it could. Uh, rescue from Without is the next stage after Magic Flight, and Rescue from Without actually does happen a lot in real life, so, um, after you're done, set out, you know, on, you've completed what you set out to do, uh, your friends or somebody comes and picks you up. Uh, after that is Crossing the Return Threshold. No, I skipped, I skipped Refusal to Return, but that's, um, Basically the same thing as refusal to go on the adventure in the first place, so um, we're not going to worry about that. That is before Magic Flight, so refusal to return is in between the boon and Magic Flight. It's uh, when the hero doesn't just, uh, after the hero has seen the other world or the world of adventure, a lot of times they just don't want to go home. Um, so there's refusal to return, magic flight, and then um, 
rescue from without. And then there is crossing the return threshold, which is the same thing as crossing the threshold into the other world, um, more or less, for our purposes today, at least. Um, and then there is Master of Two Worlds. So once you have gone on the adventure, completed it, you are the master, symbolically, of your own world and your personal inner world or the other world or the underworld or whatever, wherever it is that the adventure took place. And then the last stage is freedom to live, which is you're free to live after you have uh, stopped the catastrophe from happening. And then... Uh, you will be free to live until the cycle restarts itself and you're again thrust into adventure. So that concludes the hero's journey. That is all 17 stages. Um, so you are the hero of your own story and don't forget that and use this as a kind of roadmap for that.